How's it going everybody? In this video, we're gonna be discussing California legal auto knives. So real quick, before we jump into this video, I wanna thank the sponsor of this video, and that is Kershaw Knives. Kershaw Knives provides amazing knives in general. I'm sure a lot of you are aware of their company, and they also have some great options for California legal autos, and I'm gonna be showing you some of those in this video. But once again, thank you to Kershaw Knives for sponsoring this video, and if you like any of the knives that I show in this video, you can find a link to the products down in the details. So one of the most popular videos I have on my channel talks about California knives, California knife laws. In that video, I cover knife laws in general, but there's a lot of questions that came out of that, specifically on auto knives. And a lot of people ask, well, what about this knife? This knife you know, does not fall under the definition of a switchblade or an auto knife here in the state of California, so am I allowed to have it? So I decided to partner with Kershaw Knives and we put together a video discussing California legal auto knives. So first, let's get through all the legal mumbo jumbo so you understand the laws around what are deemed switchblades, but what we commonly refer to as auto knives. So in California, there are some laws that dictate the, and regulate the possession, sale, purchase, all of that in regards to what are deemed as switchblades, which are commonly referred to us as auto knives. So to find the general law or general prohibition on the possession of switchblades, you have to go to California Penal Code 21510. So as you can see, what California Penal Code 21510 says is that every person who does any of the following with a switchblade knife, having a blade two or more inches in length is guilty of a misdemeanor. A, possesses the knife in the passenger's or driver's area of any motor vehicle in any public place or place open to the public. B, carries the knife upon the person. Or C, sells, offers for sale, exposes for sale, loans, transfers, or gives the knife to any other person. So this is the penal code that generally prohibits the carrying, um, possession, sale, purchase, all of that of auto knives here in the state of California. But we have to go more in depth to define what exactly a switchblade is. And in California, we have a specific penal code that defines switchblade. So let's take a look at that. To find the definition of what a switchblade is, you have to go to California Penal Code 17235. And what this says is, as used in this part, switchblade knife means a knife having the appearance of a pocket knife and includes a spring blade knife, snap blade knife, gravity knife, or any other similar type of knife, the blade or blades of which are two or more inches in length and which can be released automatically by a flick of a button, pressure of, on the handle, flip of the wrist, or other mechanical device, or is released by the weight of the blade or by any type of me mechanism whatsoever. And then when you look further into the definition of what a switchblade knife is, it also says that a switchblade knife does not include a knife that opens with one hand utilizing the thumb pressure applied solely to the blade of the knife or a thumb stud attached to the blade provided that the knife has a detent or other mechanism that provides resistance that must be overcome in opening the blade or that biases the blade back toward its closed position. So that is your definition for what California sees as a switchblade and also what they define as not a switchblade. So as you can see in that penal code definition, there is a difference between these auto knives like Kershaw knife cells and just a general you know, folding flipper like this uh, tumbler and carbon fiber. It's another knife from Kershaw knife. I'm really in love with this one right now. This has become my EDC. It's just a super nice knife. But there is a direct difference in the language between what it deems auto knives and just other knives. So if you're looking for trying to determine whether a knife falls under the definition of a switchblade or an auto knife here in the state of California, that is the penal code you wanna go look at. And the reason why you wanna be really careful about whether you are in possession of a switchblade or an auto knife that would violate the switchblade language here in the state is because the state of California has expressed penalties for the possession by use carrying of a what they deem switchblade. The possession or carrying of what California deems to be a switchblade is punishable by a thousand dollar fine, a charge of a misdemeanor which could lead to six months imprisonment in county jail, um, probation, or there can be a combination of these items. That's why you want to be very careful in determining whether the knife that you have is considered a switchblade or is not. But I think for a lot of you, it's very common sense. If you have some sort of knife where you simply push a button and it comes out like this, that is going to be deemed a switchblade. Now, this video is discussing the workarounds that a lot of companies have come up with in regards to auto knives. 
and also the general like rules about what type of knives or auto knives of sort you can have here in the state of California. And really what this all hinges on is the definition section that says that if the blade length is two inches or more, then it is determined to be a switchblade. So a lot of companies made auto knives that have blades of less than two inches. Remember, if it is two inches or more, then it is a switchblade. But if it is less than that, if it's a 1.9, 1.8, etc., it is not deemed to be a switchblade here in the state of California. So you could have an auto knife. Along with this, um, which I want to address in this legal mumbo jumbo section, has to do with your local laws and ordinances. Generally here in the state of California, we went over what the penal codes say, but there are some localities that have ordinances and, and rules in place that further restrict the possession, use, carry of specific types of knives. This does not apply just to what we are talking about as far as auto knives or California compliant auto knives. This also applies to other types of knives. Some localities have put further restrictions even on general folders, flippers, you know, just your run of the mill pocket knife. So you always wanna check your local laws to determine what exactly your locality has said because they can place those further restrictions on what you are allowed to have, possess, carry, etc. All right, now that we have finished all the legal mumbo jumbo section, let's talk about these specific knives that Kershaw Knives offers as far as California compliant auto knives. One of the first knives we're gonna look at is the Kershaw Launch 4. So here you can see the Launch 4. All of these knives are going to be fairly small as far as blade length and overall length because they have to comply with that language that we discussed where the blade cannot be two inches or longer. And also this just generally restricts and lowers the size of the knife because it doesn't make sense to have a ginormous handle on a knife with a small blade. The overall length of this knife is 5.10 inches and the blade length is 1.9. So it still complies with the language that we talked about. The blade material is CPM 154 and it is a spear point knife and it has a plain edge type. So this is the Kershaw Launch 4. And as I mentioned, you can find all of these knives um, through a link that I'm gonna put in the comment section as well as in the details. It's just a generally kind of fun knife to just kind of fiddle with and all these knives that we're gonna show are just fun kind of fiddle knives. As far as practicality, whether I would EDC these knives, not really, I feel like other knives, like what I showed you, this tumbler, are more practical. I, I just would prefer to have one of these um, just plain flippers or another type of knife for my EDC knife, but these are just kind of fun to have. The next knife is going to be the Kershaw Launch 9. Um, this is actually probably my favorite little auto knife out of all these ones that I'm gonna show you. For some reason, this one is just the most pleasing to me. And as far as the actual like discharge of the blade, it's super aggressive and I don't know why, just for a small knife like this, I really enjoy that. Um, this is probably my favorite fiddle knife and my wife is actually getting really annoyed with me to keep playing with this. Um, but yeah, this is the Kershaw Launch 9. The overall length on this is five inches and the blade length is 1.89 inches. So again, it falls in line with that definition and makes it not a switch blade and therefore it is a California legal auto knife. Again, the blade material is CPM 154. It is a drop point blade and it has a flat ground edge. So if I was going to recommend any of these knives to you guys that are just kind of fun to fiddle with and that I actually enjoy, it's going to be this Kershaw Launch 9. This is probably my favorite. I kind of like them all, but for some reason, this one is just the most fun to me. And the last blade we're gonna be showing here is the Kershaw Launch 10. This is a lot different from the other knife I showed you. As you can see, it has a completely different blade on it. Um, it's really funky, but of course, all these knives are gonna kind of be funky and don't have a whole lot of utility because they are smaller autos. But if you're just looking for something that's kind of fun factor, this one's kind of fun, so a lot of you probably will like this one. The overall length of this one is longer. It's 5.20 inches. The blade length of this is 1.9 inches, so again, falls in line with that language, and so it is a California compliant auto. The blade material, again, is CPM uh, 154. The blade style is what they call a hawk bill, so as I guess you can see, it literally looks like a bird's bill, so that is why it's called that. The blade grind, again, is a flat blade grind, and it is a stone washed finish. So this is the Kershaw Launch 10. So for those of you guys who are asking about California legal autos, these are some great options for you guys. There are other autos out there on the market that you can take a look at, 
But remember the language that we talked about previously in this video where the blade length cannot be two inches or more. So you need to make sure whatever blade auto you get has a blade inch that is less than two inches, like all of these uh, autos that I showed you from Kershaw Knives. Again, is there a whole lot of utility in these types of knives? Maybe not, but they are fun to have. Like I mentioned, they're really fun to just kind of fidget with. And I don't know, if you really have that auto knife itch, it's a good route to go. So that should answer some questions you might have about California compliant auto knives, also known as switch blades here in the state. If you have any questions, go ahead and write in the comment section below and I'll try to answer to the best of my ability. If you like this video and would like to support the channel, one of the best ways to do that is to join the Patreon. And I'll put a link to the Patreon down in the details. And also just like, commenting, subscribing, and also make sure you hit that notification bell because that notification bell helps you become aware of the videos I put out and really just helps the analytics in general and just helps the channel. So as always, thanks you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And never forget, this nation was built by armed scholars and this nation will be maintained by armed scholars.